Hi guys, it's Connie from Say It With Simplicity. Welcome to my YouTube channel where my emphasis is on helping you use your Silhouette Studio software to create for your home and family. Today we're going to be talking about the center of rotation that you have in Designer Edition and above and how to use it and sometimes you know it can be a little bit pesky for someone who hasn't seen it before and then how do you turn it off and on in Silhouette Studio and so I invite you to stick around with me I'll show you a couple of things that you can do with it um, sort of tips and tricks um, sort of things and we will you know learn something hopefully together about that rotate tool before we do that I just wanted to share something with you I know if you've been um, watching my channel at all I've offered Silhouette Studio tutorials for just a little while and I haven't posted a lot of videos and I'm hoping that at some point real soon I'm going to have a little bit more of an area set up where I can do some um, like hands-on sort of things, show you some things um, with the actual cameo in action. But I just kind of wanted to um, show you a photo of some things that I've worked on recently and give you an idea of what you can do with your silhouette. I mean, if you've had one for a while and um, you're working through, you know, using it, you've probably created some things already. But if you're kind of new to Silhouette, this is one of my um, hobbies that I use it for. And I just wanted to share this photo with you. And so these are just a few signs that I've made. Um, some of these are going with me to... I go to a heritage days where I demonstrate basket weaving and um, you know I take a few of these with me just to kind of um, you know sell a few things and make it worth my travel time um, this is an SVG right now that's on my blog that you can um, pick up for free um, this is a pallet sign that I made you know breaking down some pallets um, this is a little boo sign that um, SVG is on Etsy right now. And then you can kind of see this one is like this big one here. And these were just some scrap pieces that I had left over. Pumpkin Spice. This is actually a font that I did in Adobe Illustrator and uploaded it using um, the font tool in, um, in Silhouette Studio. Um, this is another SVG that I did that um, I think was another freebie, freebie Friday one or something. Um, you know, so just a lot of fun stuff that you can do with your silhouette. And, you know, there's some neat designs in the design store like this one, you know. And just, you know, you can add some of your create creative touches to some of these things and make some really cool stuff. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to do over the next, you know, um, couple months or so is to, to do some sort of like make and take things, maybe, if you will, where I kind of do like a tutorial in Silhouette Studio and then... Um, you know, kind of go from there and show you the actual process of, of making something. So um, with that, we're going to get started on our center of rotation um, little thingy here and, um, and show you what happens with it. Um, it's not just a pesky thing, and it might be something that, you know, down the road you could use as a design tool. Okay, so if you're in Standard Edition, you don't have to worry about this at all, but like I said, Designer Edition and above has this, and it shows up as this circle with a little um, cross inside of it. And if you 
have your green handle here. Now my leaf rotates around that center. And that's why I guess it's called the center of rotation. But now if my center of rotation moves, my leaf rotates. If I pull this rotation handle, it rotates this way. So depending on where that center of rotation is, now I got a bigger swing over this way. So I can drag that back to the center and you'll see it kind of snap back in there. So I have some leaves from the Silhouette store and let's um, let's just grab a couple of them here. I'll use these two and I'll just delete the rest of these. And I'll try to make this big enough so that you can see what's going on. And let's hold down our shift key while we drag out a circle. Release your mouse and then you'll have a perfect circle. And you can see the center of rotation in my circle too. And I'm going to, let's see, let's align that to the center. Now I want to have a cross piece that I can sort of use for my orientation here. So I'm going to just sort of align it up to the grid where I, um, you know, right here I can use as a reference point. So I'm going to take my first leaf and I'm going to line it up to my circle. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And remember now with this handle I can move this. I'm not going to drag this out to my center yet. But I'm just sort of going to get this on my circle. Where I want it. And now remember this is my center that I determined on my circle. So I'm going to move the center of rotation from that leaf to the same point as on my circle. And now I'm going to open my replicate tool and let's go to, well, I don't need to do that. Let's replicate two copies. And it's you can see that it swings two copy two more copies of that or two copies of that leaf in different you know areas around the circle so evenly distributes them around the circle and this kind of works with i mean i'll show you that in a minute but let's just go on here so now i want to swing this leaf in between these other leaves. So I'm just going to sort of position this one in between those leaves. And I should have left that selected, but I'm just kind of haven't had enough coffee here today or something. And I'm going to place my center of rotation along with um, my other center of rotation and I'm going to rotate two copies of that. And you can see that it nicely put two copies around my circle between the other leaves. So how cool is that? And I just bumped my fill but that's okay because I'm going to use it here. So I'm going to close my replicate panel I didn't want to close both of them. I'm just having a day here. Okay, so let's move our circle out. And I can delete that. And let's say that I want to grab all of these. And we'll go to advanced options. We want to do a gradient fill. 
I'm going to make those that color. And now I'm going to grab them. Hmm. Computer's having a bad day too here. Grab those and give this that nice gold one. And so, you know, just really let's give this no line color. Or let's pick a line color. There. Um, so there you have it. That's one of the ways that you can use that rotation tool for designing in Silhouette Studio. Maybe you want to make a wreath and you could, you know, use um, this as a way to, to do something like that. Okay, so I've moved all that off of my mat here and I have my replicate panel open again and I'm going to go to my circle here and I'm going to hold down my shift key and make just a teeny tiny circle. And so once I have my circle made, I'm going to go into my replicate panel and I'm going to go to that advanced replicate. And in that advanced replicate panel, I can add in here by highlighting this and maybe just changing or typing in the number of copies. And here I can um, set the angle how many, or not how many, but the angle at which I want those copies made. So, um, you know, say I wanted each copy to be 20 degrees, um, that would be um, how much rotation I'd get with each copy. Pull this center of rotation down and we're going to do 20 copies. Now let's make that 19. We're going to go 18 degrees and let's do replicate and that's going to swing out those those copies and now we have these little circles all arranged in a circle. Well what would you do with that necessarily but let's try something fun here for a second. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to Oops, wrong panel. Group them. I can probably shrink these down a little bit. Let's make a card front that's um. Four by five point two five Let's bring this to the front. And Let's zoom a little bit here so we can see this. All right, so this is my card front. I'm going to make like a little window panel maybe or something. Let's center that. I'm also going to take and make a circle.
in the center of my circles. Release mouse first. I always tell myself that. Hold down shift key. Release mouse first. Let's center these first. And then group them. And hopefully this works out the way I want it to. Object, modify, subtract. And it did. It doesn't look like it did anything, but let's go to and pretend we have a piece of um, colored cardstock here. And voila, we have a little window in our colored cardstock that we can can put on a card and maybe do some have a background behind this to do some stamping inside of here or something like that. So that's just kind of another fun thing that we could do with that um, design element. So you might say, well Connie, that's all fine and dandy. Now how do we turn that crazy little thing off if we are designing and we don't want it in our way? So here we go, we have that center of rotation. We're going to go down here to this open preferences panel and that's that gear icon down at the lower right hand side. Let's go to defaults and we can go down here. We see different default styles and we have center of rotation. That's checked. We're going to uncheck that. You can click apply or just OK. And now that center of rotation is turned off. I can draw anything here and it's not going to be there. If I want it back, I can go to defaults again. I can click center of rotation and it'll be back on. So there you have it. That's the center of rotation in Silhouette Studio. Um, if this tutorial was helpful to you, I hope that you'll um, give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope that you'll share this video with other people who might be wanting to get more out of their Silhouette Studio software, learn some of the tips and tricks that that there are in some of these tools and panels and all these mysterious things that there are in Silhouette Studio. Um, thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.